<laughs> All right, so for some more tips on how to become a better fisherman, you'll want to tune in Wednesdays, 11 till 1, hooking up and tracking down with Ranger Boat Pro Staffer Steve Graff, who's going to give us a couple more tips today. Of course, you can catch a re-air of that show Saturday mornings, 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. You were telling me that coming up this summer, you will almost exclusively use these frogs yes. uh, for some of the fishing that you're doing. So what's the scenario where I need to use this? Well, first of all, if you're looking to catch big fish, this is definitely the bait. This is a bait that you want to have in your arsenal, uh, as well as big worms, jigs. This falls in that category. Big baits catch big fish. This is exactly what this bait does, and it's called a frog. It's a topwater type bait. It actually walks across the surface just like a frog would. There are different styles or different types. Spro, who is probably the top maker when it comes to frog type baits, they are the number one uh, maker of frog baits. Uh, this is their, right here, this is their junior Spro frog. It's just a standard frog, but they've just come out with a new frog that's got the difference between these two is you see how the legs are split, just like a, two legs on a frog. This bait will act differently than this bait here. This is their new inline tail frog. Almost looks kind of like a rat, if you don't know the truth. Instead of having two legs coming off, it's got one tail coming out the back. Now, why? Well, this gives you more versatility to what they call walk the dog. It's a technique that's involved in topwater fishing, bass fishing especially, where you make the bait walk like this, back and forth, back and forth. These baits are a little harder. The standard frog is a little harder to make it do that particular type of action. You can, and one of the tips I can give you today to make – the regular frog walk, you actually trim one set of the legs shorter than the other, creating an imbalance in the frog, which allows you to walk the bait back and forth a lot easier than it would when both legs are the same length. But with this particular bait, this is a new bait, just come, again, just come out by Spro. It's called the Glide It Frog. It's called a Glide It Frog, and it does just what it says. It glides across the top of the water, but again, it's easier to make that frog walk than it is one of these baits. But great big fish bait, great bait in general to throw, especially this time of year around vegetation like lily pads, hydrilla, any type of wood, great shallow water bait. And again, if you're a tournament guy, you've got to learn to fish this because it does catch quality fish and will put money in your live well. So is there a particular time of year that this bait becomes better than others? Yes. Early spring, once the water temperature hits that mid-60 degree range, when the fish start kind of looking up, so to speak, that's when the top water bait really turns on. Right now we're in May. This is a great bait starting right now all the way through. It's been good for about probably a month already, but as you get into summertime, it just continues to get better and better. And this is a bait you can use all the way through the fall. Bigger bait means bigger fish. There you go. For more great tips, tune in Steve and the gang Wednesdays, 11 till 1 on hooking up and tracking down and catch that re-air Saturday morning, 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. on 1130thetiger.com, the Radio Pup app, and, of course, 1130 the Tiger.